Hey, I wanted to share a little story with you. Just a quick little story that I think is fun and just um, one of the very, very many ways we can point to God in our lives and say, wow, you know, God was there. God was there. God showed me that, that he was there. All right, so I was in, um, in LA during the Northridge earthquake. And I don't know if you know about that earthquake, but it was pretty bad. It was it was a pretty pretty big one, and um, it was, you know, we. I was in this apartment, and everything was just all over the floor. There was just it was a mess, and um, it was pitch black. Couldn't see anything. Having to just stumble your way through, you know, trying to grab clothes and shoes and. You know, everything was just tossed and thrown all over the place. It was just ridiculous. So we go out to the courtyard. We're all hanging out with each other and um, waiting for the sun to come up. And it was just, it was insane. You know, we're just saying prayers, hoping everybody is okay. But, you know, what can you do? Sun comes up and um, go back inside the apartment. And it was absolute chaos, okay? It was like, walked into the kitchen and my jaw dropped because it was like the refrigerator was in the middle of the kitchen and everything, like all the, the cupboards were open. Every cupboard was open and everything had flown out. I mean, it was violent and everything had flown out all over the place. It was just chaos. There was like rice and all kinds of stuff all over the floor and everything you can imagine, okay? If, you're, if your entire kitchen just like blew up, that's what it looked like. And it was funny because there was only one cabinet that was closed. Everything else was open, only one. And that was where I had um, crystal uh, wine glasses. And... And I said a prayer, and this was really silly, but I asked God, I'm like, please, Lord, please let there just be one stem. Because I looked, I saw like broken glasses everywhere. But since the door was closed, I'm like, okay, you know, Lord, please let there just be one stem, please. So I opened up the cabinet door, and guess what I saw? One stem was standing straight up. The top of the glass was gone. <laughs> it was just the stem, just one stem of the glass. And I stopped and I just like looked at it and I'm like, are you kidding me? And then I started to laugh. And that was the first time I had laughed and I don't know how many hours because it was just like, it was such a stressful, chaotic, horrible, you know, nightmare we'd all just been through, right? But I, I was started laughing. I'm going, God, you have the best sense of humor. And I just laughed. And then I thought to myself, wow, next time I pray, I better be more specific. <laughs> but this is just one of the many things that God will do. You know, I mean, I swear God is in your life 24 seven. Holy Spirit is with you. You think that that's your intuition. That's Holy Spirit. All right. And if you, if you just, if you give God the praise and you, and you, you surrender yourself to the Lord, you're going to find, oh my gosh, when you're on that right path, Lord is always with you anyway. It doesn't matter, but the Lord will show you signs like you would not believe. But that was, that was just so funny. And I just like, I had to stop and I, and I said, thank you. I said, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Because I did not think that I would be able to laugh and laugh like that. And then gave me that, that little story that I can tell others to help them remember, God's always here. God is always here. And that was just a funny, funny story. I hope you enjoyed it, you know, but it's, it's something you, you know, who can make that up? You can't. Anyway, I thought it was pretty beautiful and I hope you liked it. And I hope you're having a good day and, and I hope you've got some beautiful stories that, uh, that God has given you to share with others around to, to encourage us all, right? We need to encourage each other and help each other through this, all right? So I hope you liked it and I hope you are having a good day and I love you and God definitely loves you.
and we will talk soon. Bye.